Welcome everyone to Zahid Data Mining channel once again. My name is Zahid Islam and today I will be discussing knowledge discovery uh, and data mining. And um, uh, we will also talk about how we can actually discover knowledge and I will demonstrate a real knowledge discovery from a real data set. Okay. Um, now we published this paper called Forex Plus Plus, a new framework for knowledge discovery and decision forest. And in this paper, we discussed um, some uh, initial ideas of how to discover knowledge from a data set, what is knowledge discovery, and how to also uh, present the knowledge in an interesting way to some extent in this paper. And in the following paper, we then took this to uh, further details or further improvement. I will discuss that also very briefly. So to demonstrate this knowledge discovery in this video, I have just uh, downloaded a freely available data set called diabetes.arff data set, uh, diabetes data set. .arff is the format for uh, Weka, as you all know, and you can see it, uh, these things. You can learn these things a little bit more from my other videos if you like. Um, so in this data set, there are about nine attributes, nine variables. Um, and one of them is a class attribute, uh, which is diabetics uh, test result, whether it is tested positive or tested negative. So this is the data set you can see. And these are the variables like preg means pregnancy, how many times the patient was pregnant, then PLAS, PRESS, skin, INSU, insulation related information, etc., age, and then finally class. Now I have opened this data set in Weka. This is, you can see Weka Explorer. And here you can, after through this open file, you can open any data set. Here I have diabetes.arff and we can open that data set. Um, and now you can see various variables. Now for knowledge discovery, this information can also be useful that you can actually see um, the distribution of uh, different variables, how many people, what is the minimum, what is the maximum, etc. And if you go to class, you can see there are 500 negative tested negative people and 268 tested positive people in this data set. But often people will build decision trees and forests to discover knowledge as well. So here we can uh, choose a decision tree algorithm. Say, for example, in this case, I'm choosing J48 and we can actually build a decision tree. And this is how the tree will look like that will give us lots of information. I can choose some tree parameter to make the tree a little bit more sensible. For example, I'm saying choose at least 50 records in a leaf so that my records are more like sensible and then uh, from that I can discover some knowledge. People will also use decision forest instead of a tree where they can have multiple trees to discover more knowledge. Okay, so let me show you an example and then I will demo, I will explain them um, of, uh, of a decision for us. Say I'm using SIS4, that's uh, our own uh, algorithm that we built, that we proposed a few years ago. And then we can possibly uh, choose some minimum number of records, etc. information uh, so that we can build some sensible trees. So here we can uh, choose some parameters for SIS4. Say for example, we are choosing 50 records in each leaf so that every rule that it discovers contains at least 50 patients in it so that the rules are more kind of reliable. It's not based on two patients and it, that can be a pure coincidence. So 50 patients there and the number of trees you can choose um, a suitable number of trees. The more trees you choose generally you are trying to discover more knowledge. So 50 uh, by default it creates 60 trees. So now when you build it uh, forest like that, then you can see there are 60 trees, tree number 60 there. Um, but the problem is it's, it can be huge. You know, that's one problem people are suffering uh, from. Um, and that is huge number of trees and lots of lots of rules. So lots of knowledge. And then it becomes difficult to discover which knowledge, which rule sets are more important, more useful. For example, a little bit of in inter interpretation of this is it says that if plus value is less than 166.5 and then mass value is less than 26.3, then these patients are tested positive. They are diabetes 
from this data set and there are 159 such records that have plus less than 166.5 and mass less than 26.3 and only nine of them are negative are positive so 150 of them are negative so it's a predominantly negative uh, people uh, in terms of diabetes test now the, the paper that I was discussing actually presents some uh, interesting idea that how do you now discover more interesting knowledge? So it says that you first find out the rule sets that have accuracy above the average rule sets accuracy and then that has coverage also above the uh, aver average coverage and the lengths are also short that lengths are smaller than smaller than the average length of a rule so smaller rules are more understandable interpretable something like that so to understand uh, the uh, the proposal in the paper let us build a small tree small forest of three three trees uh, number of trees will be three and then so that we can demonstrate this and now we can see that these are the trees tree one tree two tree three so following the suggestion uh, in that uh, paper we first um, write the rules on an excel file as follows so here is the excel file you can see and that's tree one rule one so the first rule is plus less than 166.5 and mass is less than 26.3 you can see here and then we are saying it is negative the there are 159 total records only nine of them are positive so 150 of them are ne negative and then we can calculate the support support means how many records fall in this group so that's 159 you can you know and confidence is what is the accuracy level confidence level so it's 150 over 159 159 which is 94.3 so this way we can write down all the rules okay so that's the reason why from 60 trees for demonstration purpose i just i said that we better choose uh, three trees so we can write all these rules now in real life you will have lot more and then you know the support and confidence so as a result of this you can actually then um, rank the rules in terms of their uh, confidence and support or whatever so here now I can see that true uh, tree 2 rule number 7 that gives the highest confidence so that's the 94 percent now if you are interested in only positive rules so you are interested in those people who have diabetes then you can see this rule which says um, if plus is greater than 166.5 gives the highest uh, confidence for uh, the rules that uh, identify or that predict positive diabetes positive patients so here 86 percent accuracy now this is how you can actually discover uh, and you can play with uh, interesting rules and you can find out rules so you can possibly find out top 10 rules in terms of support in terms of confidence or in terms of lift and you can choose many other criteria now you can also after you identify some interesting rules you can also explore surrounding those rules to see what are the information there so to explore uh, the other side of the rules or when you identify some rules you can then uh, decision trees and forests can help you to identify interesting rules like this and this you could find without any pre pre assumption any domain uh, expertise in 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 that in that sense so this knowledge this these rules are coming out automatically from decision forest and then you can identify that maybe this is one interesting rules because it says plus greater than 166.5 means positive now what is if it is less than 166.5 what is not 166 150 so can I discover knowledge and then for doing that here I'm I, I have uh, opened the file the data set in Microsoft uh, Access and let us write some query to see what is the class distribution when the class uh, when the um, plus value is actually not greater than rather less than 166.5 so I'm writing some basic uh, SQL query here diabetes dot plus is actually less than equal to 166.5 instead of greater than 
because that rule says greater than so I am now checking if this is less than what happens dot class equals tested negative so I'm trying to see like how many records um, how many records are actually tested negative and how many records are tested positive when plus value is less than 166.5 whereas this rule says plus value is greater than 166.5 so once I now complete this uh, this query and run this query I can see that there are 489 records with negative class values and similarly I can run this query again to see how many of them are positive um, positive and then I can see there are only 200 positives so from this I can see a class distribution when um, it's actually different um, the plus value is different and then from that I can write an Excel file like this um, with the new class distribution so when case 1 then this is the percentage of positive and negative case 1 means this rule and case 2 is this uh, other query and I can see the distribution difference so when plus is greater than 166.5 then there is a huge number of positive compared to negative whereas when plus is less than 166.5 then then there is a very uh, big number of negative compared to positive so I can actually discover this sort of knowledge from this so this is uh, uh, and this is a simple demonstration you need to do it more and more to actually learn more about the data, data set data mining and knowledge discovery is most mostly about making sense of data so you can actually keep exploring these things and learn more and more knowledge so as a demonstration of knowledge discovery we in this paper forex plus plus paper we actually demonstrated uh, and applied this ap um, uh, approach on some real life data sets for example this was on a OS OSS data set which is on dementia patients and we discovered that this these are very interesting um, uh, findings we discovered that when education level is low say in this case less than or equal to 8 we can see that the number of demented patients is very high compared to number of non demented patients at least in this data set but the, for the same data set when education level is high big so the patients had long years of education then among those those patients the number of de non demented patients is lot higher than the number of demented patients so education has influence on dementia it looks like at least from this data set so this is interesting and similarly we can also see SES socioeconomic standard or background also has influence on dementia at least according to this data set and here we can see for similar brain condition with socio, better socioeconomic standard generally people have less percentage of dementia so this sort of thing can be actually discovered and this knowledge discovery is an ongoing process and many people say it's data science or data arts because you need to be creative you need to do those kind of queries those kind of analysis decision trees and forests can help you to build it but then you need to continue exploration to find more knowledge dig out more information and knowledge from your data set we then presented another paper on knowledge discovery and we actually in this paper uh, presented a full framework for knowledge discovery and we identified a new definition of uh, interesting rules and uh, this framework you can apply to discover more more interesting rules and knowledge so feel free to read this paper and you can find these papers from my web page as usual you can search me on my on Google and you will find my page go to the publication page and just search for the paper so here is the forex plus plus paper and you can also search my other papers thanks for watching